seeing inequalities. We're going to look at the directions first and we're going to notice that they're going to ask us to do both symbolic and number line form. Okay, so keep that in mind. We're going to look at number one. Number one reads, a number decreased by negative four is at least nine. So we'll write a number decreased by a negative four is at least nine. Nine is in our box, so it has to be at least nine. So it'll be nine or greater. When we outline our arrowhead, we know that it's going to be a greater than or equal. So we'll write greater than or equal to whatever's in the box, and it happens to be nine. When we solve, we know a negative times a negative is a positive, so it'll be x plus four is greater than or equal to nine. So just that we're, so that we're clear, we know that these two turned into a positive. And when we solve for x from here, we know we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And we're left with x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay, This takes care of our symbolic answer. So our symbolic answer is x is greater than or equal to 5. Now for our number line. We know that we're going to start at 5. So we'll just simply write a 5 is 5 or greater than 5. And we have a solid circle right here because the line underneath of our inequality states that it can be equal to 5 or greater than 5. Now let's jump down to number 5. A number divided by a negative six is no less than five. So we have five in our box and it's no less than five. It, so it can't be less than five. It's either five or greater. And we know when we outline that it's going to be greater than or equal to five. So we'll write that greater than or equal to five because whatever's inside the box is on the right side. And we'll solve. So this side will multiply by negative six, and this side will multiply by negative six. This cancels and we're left with x is, and this one's important, when you divide or multiply by a negative, your inequality flips. Less than or equal to negative 30. Okay, one more time. Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, so for example, negative six, we're dividing by negative six, and we're multiplying by negative six, the inequality changes. And so we no longer have a greater than or equal to, we have a less than or equal to. That takes care of our symbolic answer. And now let's work on our number line form. So this is our symbolic right here. Now we're gonna work on the number line. So we, are, we start at negative 30, and we decide, okay, if x is less than or equal to negative 30, it could be equal to negative 30 or less than. And that takes care of our symbolic. So this one right here is our symbolic answer. Now let's look at number six. Charlotte must have at least 320 points in her science class to get a B or better. She needs at least a B so she can play on the softball team. Charlotte currently has 168 points from four tests and 79 points from her quizzes. Charlotte will be taking her final exam worth 100 points. What must Charlotte score on the final exam to reach her goal? Okay, so we know that we need to have at least 320 points. So 320 is in our box. So we had to have at least 320 or more. So we'll outline that and have our equal sign right there. So whatever our points add up to, so we have 168 plus 79 plus, we don't know what she's gonna get on her last final. They all have to be, and I'm taking this symbol from right here, they all have to be greater than or equal to what she needs to make, what's, what's inside the box. So the box is right here. And we'll write greater than or equal to 320. 
right here, you'll just add these two like terms and solve for x and you'll get your x. Susie has a budget of $92 to spend on clothes. The shorts she wants to buy are on sale for $14 each. The shirts are on sale for $12 each. If Susie purchases four shorts, so let's write the shorts she wants to buy. She wants to buy four shorts, okay, which are $14. And what is the maximum number of shirts she can buy to go with her shorts? So on our shirts, we don't know how many we're going to buy because we don't know how much we have money for, enough money for. Okay, so her budget is $92. You know that 92 is in the box. We can spend 92 or less than 92. When we outline that, it's less than or equal to, and we'll set up our equation as such. We have $14 times 4, because we'll purchase 4 shorts, plus 12x, because we're not too sure how many shirts we can afford. All has to be less than or equal to $92. Now we'll multiply first, subtract, and divide by 12. You'll solve for x at that point. 